Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. So, this is going to be a very, very short one that has to do with how you can parent things directly here in uh, Twinmotion. So, this question has been asked in the community and I think it's just, you know, best to do justice to this. And the question also comes alongside how can you get that parented object with motion path. So, what we're going to do is simply play around this and see how you can get this going. So, for this case, I might simply, you know, get this, which would be a vehicle, tap F on the keyboard just to frame in. And let's just inspect this and it looks pretty cool so the next thing which you would like to do is maybe you want to attach something to this of course we already have some pre-designed attached stuff but what if what you want to attach is something totally different so for this now i might simply go all the way let's see if we can find something you know something pretty cool maybe we should use a default object so i'm going to go over to the object section go over to the geometry and get a chamfer box so with this chamfer box i will try to scale this so for example Let's say we want to scale something like this and we want to append this particular box on top of this model. So with this done and positioned properly, probably the next thing which I would want to do is maybe attach some other extra things on top. And if this is exactly what we want to, then you have to parent this. So I'm going to click right here and parent this right here. So once I do that and move this object, you would now notice that we have this object all parented to this. Now, if you're wondering how you can get this into the motion path, it is also pretty simple to get this one going. Let's say this is the model which you want to work with and you want to get this to animate alongside. So we're just simply going to go all the way to the context section, go over to the path, select the custom path, and right here is where we're going to define the path where we want our object to travel through. So I'm going to click right here, click over here, click and drag, and click right over here. I'm also going to right click just to make sure that I'm done. And once you do that, you would notice that the default box, which is this particular box that we get to, you know, preview, that we get to use to preview what's going on, actually starts animating. You can now literally go over to your object section Section, go over to any of the sections and you know drop in whatever model that you want but for our case since we've already created this object that has to do with the truck the character and also the chamfer box we're going to click right click and then load this into the user library and once we load this into the user library it's just a matter of jumping over to the user library let's go ahead and select this and jump over to the user library right here click and drag and drop this directly there so now we can turn this off and we now have our object animated along the motion path and this is basically how you can you know literally add objects and also animate them across the path if you have questions about this please put them in the comment section and if you you know want to see more videos about about twin motion and also how you can get started with working with twin motion from 2019 all the way to 2020 we have a huge playlist where you can actually go through and learn a couple of things and get better by simply practicing with them so tell me what you guys think about this in the comment section if you like this video or you learned something from this then go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next video or the next update and until i see you guys again with a tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace